Okay, good afternoon. This is Mrs. Jacobs, and I will be teaching today Go Math Grade 4. Um, we are starting Chapter 2, which is multiply one digit by a two, three, or four digit number. And today we'll be looking at Lesson 2.1, which is really Day 1. I have decided to split this into um, two days. First, for the simple reason is children need to be able to master these two learning targets before they can apply them to problem solving. And that would be the next day. Okay. So the two learning targets that I'll be focusing on today is I can write multiplication equations as comparison statements which is 40A1 standard. And the second learning target is I can write comparison statements as multiplication equations. And before we move on, um, unpacking these learning targets, it has a lot of fancy math vocabulary words that we're not used to um, in fourth grade. So I want to just review some of these words. Um, so that we can have a better understanding of what we're supposed to be learning. So let's look at the first learning target. It says, I can write multiplication equations. And we need to know what a multiplication equation is, or at least what it looks like, so that we can get a better visual. All right. So multiplication equations, um, you know this, but it is giving me a multiplication fact along with its product. All right. So for example, 4 times 3 equals 12 is a multiplication equation. All right. And I will go over these definitions as well um, further in the video. So I can write a multiplication equation such as 4 times 3 equals 12 as a comparison statement. So first of all, we have to know what a comparison is. In multiplication, a comparison uses the phrases times as many as, or you might see it as times as much as, or times more than, right? So you, these are some familiar phase, uh, phrases. However, this is the most common one, times as many as. So that's the comparison words. Now we need to know that a statement is just a sentence. Okay, so basically we are writing a multiplication equation such as 4 times 3 equals 12 as a sentence using the words times as many as. All right, so we're going to look at that. And then the second learning target is actually the opposite. <laughs> this is where we're giving you a statement, right? Which we're going to give you the times as many as sentence and you would need to be able to give me the equation in return. Okay. So let's take a look at the first learning target. All right. So again, I just have the two um, vocabulary. Multiplication equation is a multiplication equation that has at least two factors, an equal sign and a product. So you need to have two factors, okay, an equal sign and the product. And of course, you need the multiplication symbol, right? A multiplication comparison sentence it is a multiplication sentence that uses the phrases times as many as or times as much as. Okay. So first learning target is I can write multiplication equations as comparison statements. All right. So here I have an equation. Five times three equals 15. And I already went ahead and wrote the sentence so that we can see how this came about. So if you notice, if you look at the equation 
and compare it and look at how the sentence is written, you will notice a few things. Okay. First of all, my sentence starts from left to right, just like my equation does. So I'm writing numbers, I'm using the same numbers in that order from left to right. So I still have a 5, okay? And the symbol, which is the multiplication symbol, which is the x, right, as of right now, is now written as f a phrase times as many as, okay? So when I see the multiplication symbol, I now make that into words times as many as. Then the 3, okay? And the equal sign is now the word is. Okay. And then finally, 15. Okay. So basically, you could see is that we're taking symbols and replacing them with words or phrases. So multiplication symbol represents times as many as. The equal sign represents the word is. Okay, so I just wrote the helpful tips here along the side. So if you forget, you can refer to that at any time in the video. All right, so now I'm going to show you how I write a multiplication comparison sentence for the equation 8 times 5 equals 40. So I still start with 8 left to right, 8. I know that the X, or the multiplication symbol, stands for the phrase times as many as, and then we have the number 5, then the equal sign stands for the word is, and then we have 40, right? So just to make a connection, all right, so we are, so here is the phrase for the multiplication, and here is the equal sign in words, right? So 8 times as many as 5 is 40, okay? Now when I want to look at the next one, I notice that the equal sign doesn't look like in the right place, but it is, okay, because we can still, this is still a mathematical equation, and it's still a multiplication equation. However, it's just where the equal sign is flipped and it's on the other side. So when I read this, it's 132 equals 12 times 11. And now when I want to write that as a sentence, I have to be very careful at my wording because now my equal sign comes first, then my multiplication symbol, right? So I'm just going to make a little note for myself, is the equal sign stands for is, and the multiplication is times as many as. So that's going to help me. Oops, as. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to write 132 is. 12 times as many as 11. Okay, and that is how we write a multiplication equation as a comparison sentence. We are only changing the symbols into words or phrases. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the second learning target. And this one we're going to do the opposite, like I said before. So we are going to write a comparison sentence as an equation. So we're going to give you, okay, we're going to give you the sentence 
the comparison sentence, and then you need to write it as an equation. So we're going to just work backwards. So if you look at the model that I have on here, I wrote 5 times as much as 3 is 15. And again, the numbers stay the same. However, my words have now changed to symbols. So if you noticed, times as much as is my multiplication symbol. And my word is, is the equal sign. Okay, so it's a great strategy marking it up like this. So it helps you when you need to write your final equation. So I have 5 times 3 equals 15. So let's do a little bit more practice. All right. So write an equation for each sentence. I have helpful tips again, just to remind you that when we're going from an equation a sentence to an equation, you have to take the words and represent them back as symbols. So three times as many as nine is 27. So again, times as many as, it's my multiplication symbol. The word is, is my equal sign. So when I want to write this, I see three times 9 equals 27. So I read this 3 times as many as 9 is 27. Okay. Next one. 77 is 11 times as many as 7. So is equal sign times as many as is a multiplication symbol. So this one looks a little bit different. The equal sign comes first. So 77 equals, and I'm just looking from left to right, is 11 times 7. Okay, so here we have taken a comparison sentence and written it as a multiplication equation. Okay, it might take a little time for us to get used to the vocabulary, but when we're talking about uh, multiplication, equations, and comparison sentences, we really want to start to build up our vocabulary and to make sure that we're using um, these words when we're explaining or discussing with a partner. Right. So I would like to thank you for joining me today in our first part of 2.1. And the next video will be on how do we apply this to problem solving, which is the next step. Okay. So I hope you can master these two learning targets today. And thank you for joining me.